Hey cooks, remember the Magi Mix that I got at the Williams Sonoma outlet during Black Friday? Well, it's still in the box and I think it's time to get this baby out because I want to try this uh, food processor. The Magi Mix is made by Robocoop, the company that was the original maker of the food processor. And um, this thing has got a lot of power and it's got a great reputation. So I want to get this baby out of the box and see what it can do. So join me as we unbox the Magimix 4200XL food processor. So cooks, this is a Magimix. And this is made by Robocoop, which they make food processors for the commercial industry. But this is their home line. And um, I was really excited to get this because it is priced at $399.96. And when I went to the Williams-Sonoma outlet, they had the price of $199.94. So it was basically half off. Plus, I think I got another 20% off for appliances being 20% off. So I got a good deal on this. Um, yeah, this is going to go up against like our larger food processors like the Breville and the Proline um, KitchenAid because it is a big one. This sucker is 950 watts. Um, so... It is, it's huge. Did I hear we're going to have a showdown? Showdown, right. No, we are going to do a test review on this one. So as you see, it's the, it's multifunction. It's a patisserie, right? I probably don't pronounce that right. It has robust and silent and it is compact. And this is what it looked like. I believe this one is the silver color. So it has your master blade. It has this blender blade. I'm not sure exactly what that is just yet. Um, dough blade, graters, slicers, all that fun stuff. It also, I believe, comes with uh, three bowls in one. Um, and yeah, so I want to get this baby open. What you didn't tell them about was the commercial grade motor. It's a 30 year warranty on the motor. Yeah, it's got a 30 year warranty on the motor, so. Everything else can be. Yay! Well, yeah. Open, 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 open. <laughs> I've had this sitting around for a little while, and um, I just haven't had a chance to get to it. Okay, so. There is. Starting out some kind of cookbooks. Um, this is pretty cool. But they gave you like a hard copy and a and a, a hard bound and a soft bound yeah. of the same book. I don't know. <laughs> um, let's see. Dear valued customer, thank you for buying a magic mix. And here is the guarantee. And oh yeah. Uh, oh, well, this one's in French. <laughs> yeah, so this one's in French. This one is in English. So they are the same book. Um, this is really nice. Really nice book. Um, shows you all the parts. Eww, putting the bowl on. How to use the blades. This is really, really nice. Little... Um, instruction booklet some some don't have great ones has pesto aioli herb mayonnaise different sauces shortcuts pastry puff pastry whipped cream um maybe we should make one of these recipes chocolate cake chocolate mousse okay i think we could do that right <laughs> eric loves chocolate mousse so we got a nice box of tools in here. Uh, 
Um, this is, I think this is like some kind of blender thing. So lid. Okay, this thing. Oh my gosh. Ooh, oh. Ooh this is, this thing is sweet. <laughs> Okay, so this is the matching mix. This thing is pretty sweet, guys. So here's the lid. It's a two-part lid. So you have a small pusher with a small hole and a large pusher with a large hole. Um, wow, okay. Here's our small blade for our mini bowl. You can take the mini bowl out. Yay. It has a medium-sized bowl. Yeah. Yay. So this is a 14-cup bowl. Um, it was listed in liters, so we had to figure that out. Um, so this is your all-purpose bowl. This is where you're going to do a lot of your work. Um, this medium-sized bowl, you can do shredding. I think you can only use the discs on this. You can't use the blades on this. It's typically the KitchenAid has one of these. And you can only use the, um, the, like slicing and Yeah, shredding. the discs. You can't, you can't do, um, the chopper? No, you can do a chopper in this little one. Yeah, this mini is for small quantity chopping. The midi is for slicing and grating, so that would be with the disc. And the large is for large quantity preparations. A little mini bowl in here. Close it up. Woo! Oh. Good stop button. So it does have, when it's on, it's got an interlock. So here's our basket of goodies. <laughs> and, um, let's see, ooh, yeah. Ooh, basket of goodies. Ah, uh, remove that. So what do we have in here? We have our post. This holds your blades. Um, we have our standard cutting blade. We have our egg whip. You can whip meringues and stuff with this thing. We have our dough blade. We have a slicing disc. Not sure what this one is. ES4. You should have a four and a two millimeter. And this is an ES2. And here is a G4 grater. G2 grater. So we have two sides graters and two size slicers. So this is like the Cuisinart, the original Cuisinart. It doesn't adjust. You got to get additional blades. Um, and you have this little scraper tool. Sweet. Um, and this closes down. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so, cooks, we have the Magimix. 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 Food processor by Robocoop. And we're going to be putting this thing through the test. Woo! Just like our other food processors to see how this compares to our top picks, the Breville and the Cuisinart. So, um, yeah, looking forward to, I finally got this baby out of the box and I'm ready to roll with it. We're also going to be doing some, hmm, 
smothered potatoes, right? So stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please subscribe below, leave me a comment and a like, and visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. You can also catch me on social media at Pinterest and Twitter at Amy Learns to Cook. Come on into my Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash Amy Learns to Cook. And I'm also on Instagram at cooking with Amy and cooks. We have the magic mix in the house. Yeehaw. Yay. Hey. Thank you.